Hey guys, so I'm sitting in my husband's car waiting for him. He's getting a haircut. Right? I finally got my car back. So I do got my car back. <laughs> Here's the myth, right? So, you know, I did a, a live stream on Instagram. And on my Instagram post right now, I said, quit your job and just build your business. That's it. Right? Now, some people may say, oh, I can't quit my job. I can't leave my job to do my business part time or do my business full time. Okay, then don't. Here's the thing. You're going to listen to someone. People say, oh, Jim Rohn said, work your full-time business, work your full-time job, and then work on your fortune part-time. That sounds great. Thank you, Jim Rohn. That sounds so great, right? But what is the statistics of people that are working their business part-time and leaving their job within a year? I'll wait. Because I know people that have been working their, their business part-time for 10 years. The point of a business, guys, is to have time, a peace of mind, better health, better wealth, happiness. And, of course, to change the world. A business owner or an entrepreneur, guys, has to take risk, right? You have to take risk every day. You have to be able to understand the risk and your risk tolerance. Employees take no risk. Entrepreneurship, you have to be able to think and strategize. Employees don't think or strategize nothing. So when you start a business part-time, that's why when people join me or they take my classes and courses, I help them to change their mind first. I help them change their mind first. Okay? Because an employee... Is thinking about bills when they go to work. Entrepreneurs are thinking about how can they change the world. Or how many people need to see my product and or service today. It's a mind battle. So yes, you can start your business part time. But what's the end goal? To just have your business part-time for 10 years then okay fine but most people don't start a business just to have a business part-time for 10 years majority of people start a business so they can supplement their income or replace their income see like i said this is a mind battle if you don't transform your mind in that if you don't transform or go hard to transform your mind, guys, in the part time that you're working your business, then forget about it. Right? See, I can talk shit because I don't have a job. And my job fired me. Right? So I can talk shit. All right, so I'm biased. So remember who you're listening to, right? I'm biased. I don't have a job. My job fired me, so it's like I got pushed off the plane. I didn't have a time to look and decide. I didn't have time to look out the, the window of the plane because entrepreneurship is about jumping off the cliff or jumping out of the plane and building a parachute on the way down. Employees is about jumping with the parachute and being able to see the ground. So there's no real risk because you know you're going to jump, you're going to be good, and the ground's right there. The ground's, you know, six feet. <laughs> you can see the ground, right? So entrepreneurship is different. So you have to be able to change your mind. 
Like I said, there's people that do fucking business 10 years and you still ain't quit your fucking job. So what the fuck you doing? What you doing? What you doing? So yeah, quit your job. If you believe in yourself, get you a mentor, right? So you need guidance, right? I ain't just saying quit your job and start a business. No, quit your job, right? Find you a mentor, find you a group of people who is willing to lift you up. A group of people who's willing to take you to the next level. But you gotta believe, you know, a couple of people, you know, in the comments, on my Instagram said, yeah, shit, I quit my job and thank God I did because now I got time to build. You know, some women are saying, well, I can't quit my job. I got eight kids. I got five kids. I got three kids. I'm a single mom. Blah, blah. Well, then that's going to be your story then. That's going to be your story. That's That's been your story for the last 15 years. That's going to continue to be your story if you don't change it. See, I'm trying to help people. I don't know if I can help people anymore because it's like people just got every excuse for every fucking thing. $27 they don't got, they don't got $500, they don't got $1,500, they trying to find the money here, they can't do this. They, it's like, it's just too much sometimes with people, right? It's just too indecisive. So when you're indecisive, you absolutely do nothing, baby. You do nothing. <laughs> year on year year after year because in a business you have to invest time money energy you need products or or, or you got to pay for your services you got to pay for your ads right that's why you got to know how to do this stuff you know you got to get lines of credit you know lower your bills get rid of some of your bills or stop smoking weed stop drinking right to sacrifice right so that you can drink and smoke as much as you fucking want to you know, don't go on no trips for a year or two, right? Don't get no new lace fronts and shit and get your hair and all that shit done. You know, so don't get sacrifice. Sacrifice, guys. It's like people don't understand that part. Sacrifice. 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 I sacrificed my husband and my kids for three years. I didn't go to no club. I wasn't smoking no weed. I wasn't popping no bottles. I wasn't buying no hair. I wasn't going to no nails or none of that. For three years, I did it. And I had no money. I was living on unemployment, living in a basement. My husband had a job, right? But I had to sacrifice, guys. I had to get rid of negative friends. It takes a lot to win, believe me. And it takes a lot of time. So that's why if you're at your job and your job is stressing you out and you're supposed to have a business part-time, you're not gonna come home and start doing your business. You sh you too stressed out at the job. So you can't think. So 10, 20 years. So it takes a lot, guys, a lot of sacrifice. So I just, I couldn't finish the video. I had to go get my nails done by the black girls. And my husband kept calling me like he's a fucking maniac. So it takes a lot, guys. You know, it, it, I had to even, like I said, sacrifice being with my children. I couldn't take my kids anywhere, right? I couldn't even go out to eat. Like, we didn't even have good birthdays, right? Me and my husband wasn't communicating. We wasn't intimate, right? Nigga damn near cheated on me, right? Well, did. <laughs> so I had to sacrifice, guys, right? And, and people don't get that these days. You know, the slaves, you know, our ancestors, they sacrificed, Right, they were able to be successful. Right nowadays, people just want to smoke weed. They don't even want to stop smoking twenty dollar bag of weed. You know, to sacrifice to, to 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 have a better life. Right, so you got to sacrifice, guys. It takes a lot. Okay, it takes a lot to do this. Internet marketing, a brick and mortar McDonald's. A hair salon, a, a, a meat market, whatever you're doing, guys, as entrepreneurs, business owners, something that's making an impact on the world, it shouldn't be easy. Because if that's the case, everybody be trying to make an impact on the world, and then it wouldn't be an opportunity. Right? That's why it's an opportunity to win. Right? If not, it'd just be like, all right, everybody winning. Right? So it has to be more people losing. So you can see 
winning. So you can see what winning look like. If everybody losing, nobody winning, no one striving for nothing. So that's why for me, I give people hope. I give people hope that, you know what, I'm here, you're there, you want to get here, this is what you got to do, right? So you give people something to latch on to, to grab for hope, right? If you at your job part-time or full-time and you're doing this business uh, part-time, you're not really giving people, how much hope are you really giving how much hope are you really giving the next person? I mean, fully. Like, I can fully give someone hope that they can quit their job and do this full time or get fired from their job and do this full time. You know, one of my students, she quit her job. Now she's making like four grand a month. Another one of my students, she damn near got fired or laid off from her job. She doing her business uh, full time, right? Getting fired is not a bad thing. Getting laid off is not a bad thing. Res resigning from your job is not a bad thing. It's how you think about it. Right? So, <laughs> you can do it part-time, but what's the deadline? What's the deadline? Are you going to do it part-time for 10 years? If that's your, if that's what you want to do, then do it. Like I said, but most people start a business, so eventually they can leave their job. But what happens is, they end up getting fired. Here, here's what happens with the part-time entrepreneur who's not in control of nothing, all right? Not willing to sacrifice, not willing to do the personal growth and development. They get fired from their job or laid off from their job. They immediately go start looking for another job. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're supposed to be preaching freedom. This is why I tell people, if you want to learn something, learn it from people who are doing it, not people who just saying it. I'm going to the mall. I'm going to look for me a nice black pencil dress. I'm going to a gala on Sunday, all right, with some powerful people again. As entrepreneurs, you got to know who to connect yourself with. Can't still be connecting with the Bobo down the block who's getting high. <laughs> the fuck? All right? So you got to know who to connect with. You got to know who to build with. You got to know who to have in your circle. All right, so this is why the part-time thing doesn't work for a weak-minded individual. Now, if you're a strong-minded person, oh, you can knock this shit out the fucking box in a year. If you do it right. But most people are not strong-minded. <clears throat> and they think they're doing something because they're doing more than they broke on. Or they're doing more than they broke co-workers. Oh, I got a business. I started a business. And meanwhile... A year from now, you ain't doing the business no more because it costs too much. Business costs a lot. So that's my spiel, guys, on part-time entrepreneur. You know, if you are a weak-minded person, it's not going to work. You're going to have to really just full-time quit your job and do the business full-time and just go hard. Don't sleep. I posted today. I said, I'd rather work 24-7 on my business and not sleep, not eat, then go to a fucking nine to five. Where people telling me when to eat, when people telling me when to sleep, when people telling me to when to come in, people telling me when to go to the bathroom. I don't want that type of life. Like I said, guys, we're gonna sacrifice anyway. It's either you sacrifice the next two years to live a better life for you and your family, or you're going to sacrifice the next 40 years to never live a better life for you and your family. You have to make the decision on what you want to do for you and your family. Whether you got kids, whether you have a spouse, whether you got nieces and nephews, whether it's just you and your mama, or you and your dad, or you and your siblings. You want to be able to leave something. Especially if your siblings and your mom and dad ain't leaving shit behind but fucking bills and debt and headache. Who's going to leave the mark? Who's going to leave the mark on the family? Who's going to say, you know what? Tanisha did some shit in this family. She really helped us understand money. She had really helped us understand some things. She really helped us make some more money. She really broke the chains where we don't have to go to a job. We can have real estate. We can have businesses, Bitcoin or whatever. What are they going to say about you? What legacy are you leaving? A bunch of debt? You a bunch of headache? How do you want to be remembered? What lens 
should people look through to see you? Is it, oh, she always broke. Oh, she always fat. Oh, she always want food. Oh, she always begging. I got cousins right now. Fucking bitches always begging. Like, come on. Fuck, y'all niggas need to get some money. Y'all don't want to listen to me, so don't ask me for a fucking penny. Y'all don't want to listen to me, so don't ask me for a penny. What lens do you want your people to see you out of? Some people might say, oh, I don't give a fuck what they see me out of. Oh, yes, you do, boo-boo. Because when you die and you're deceased, and when they sit up talking about you, oh, you wasn't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't this. You ain't that. You know how much dead people, you know how much people that are alive talk about dead people? You know how much people that are alive that they talk about dead people a lot? And they have negative shit? You know, one of my, like, great aunts, she died. You know, she was 97. Hey, I loved her. Only I got good things to say about her. But my uncle, he got bad shit to say about her. But he going to have that bad stuff to say about her for the rest of his life. I'm going to have good stuff to say. Right? I think she was a loving aunt and she was always there and she helped. And, you know, she's about 97. So she lived a good life. I mean, 97. I, listen, half these motherfuckers ain't even living to 50. Because <laughs> they stressed out and broke and constipated. I mean, believe me, people die because they broke. People die from stress and headache and heartache. So we got to make a decision and say, do I truly, truly want a better life for me and my kids? What am I willing to spend? If I'm not willing to spend 10 grand this year, then don't worry about it. If I'm not willing to spend 10,000 hours this year, then don't worry about it. You know, because once you start investing in yourself, it's a constant thing. It's not, oh, I'm just going to spend a thousand and oh, this is going to get me, you know, to my legacy. No. Tony Robbins, my coach, she just posted on her Instagram. She said Tony Robbins charged uh, damn near, I think, 150 grand a month to be with him. <laughs> For him to coach you personally, one on one, he fly you out to where he is. 150,000 a month. And the minimum is 12 months. <laughs> so that weans out 98, 99, 99.9% .9 of people. Should I know he, that weans me out. I can't pay that yet. <laughs> 150000 a month. You know, but there's people that can pay that. And he can charge that. All right. So you would never get there, uh, you know, to, to pay that amount if you never invest that amount. You know, people want something for free because they got the mentality of, uh, you know, somebody's supposed to owe me something. People owe me something. I feel like a black person should give me a discount on their products, services, and or goods. No. Why? Gucci ain't finna give you no fucking discount. I go to the nail salon. They ain't giving me no damn discount. I go shopping, right? <laughs> they ain't finna give me no discount. I ain't finna get everything, you know, freaking for free. Right, you go to the Benz dealer, they might, you know, give you a couple dollars off. Right, so you got to make decisions, guys. 2019, 2020 is around the corner. Let's just fuck 2019 because 2019 gonna come like this. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's 2020. Motherfuckers are like, oh, this is about to be 2020. I need to do something with my life, baby. You should have been doing some shit. <laughs> Fucking, you should have been doing some shit. Instead of buying weed, buying liquor, turn up for your birthday. You know, so many people turn up for their birthdays and all these different holidays. And it's like, what are you really celebrating? You turning up for what? What, what, do you, what happened in your life that was a success that you turn up for? Nothing. You bought a pair of Gucci glasses, you want to celebrate it. You bought uh, uh, some, some Jordans, you want to go out and celebrate you wearing your new Jordans. You bought a car, you want to go celebrate that. You bought a new wig, so you want to go out and celebrate. It's like stupid. And then you die and never built nothing. And now your kids suffer because you were stupid and you didn't do nothing. Hey, the cycle continues. The cycle continues, guys. The cycle continues. So join the list, paylikeTanisha.com. I'm gonna have a course, it's 97 a month. 97 to join, 97 a month. You get a 14 day free trial, plus you get a free book to understand building a business online. 
and how to position yourself, guys. How I'm doing it, right? How to position yourself online so that you can be the resource and people can seek you out, right? Not just making money. Yes, I can help you make $1,000, but how can I keep you making $1,000? That's the key to this thing. All right, guys, so pay like Tanisha. Paid like Tanisha. Shit. This guy coming? Oh. Paid like Tanisha, guys. <laughs> Dot com. Uh, see you guys soon.